All right, so in this video, we're gonna deep dive into the creative process of Kay and I. You're gonna see me set up my lighting, set up my backdrop, which is right behind me, set her up to where I need her place, build the lighting, camera settings, we're gonna play around a little bit because I don't know what I wanna do. I don't know what I wanna shoot yet. So Kay's gonna step in front of me, we're gonna figure out our lighting together and you're gonna see all of it. Let's dive into the video. So today's shoot, I'm gonna be using the Sony a7R5, and I'm gonna be using a 90 millimeter lens, which is typically what I use for beauty portraits. We're gonna be using the Flashpoint R2 transmitter. Today I'm using the AD400 by Flashpoint, and the Glow 48 inch softbox. I'm gonna be tuning in my camera settings to see what we can start off with, and then we're gonna build the light and we're gonna build the settings once Kate has a seat here in the hot seat and we're ready to take pictures of her. So in my previous headshot video, I was discussing where you need a tablet to review images with your subject or your client. So today we have our tablet where I'm gonna be showcasing and reviewing with Kay here uh, what we shot. All right, so we are ready. We got the camera settings ready. We have the light ready. Now all we need to do is we need to build a shot. We need to start working with our settings to achieve the look that we're going for and honestly, if you know Kay and I, you know how we work, we don't know what we're going for. So this is all just playing around with it, playing around with light, building it. And going so through. I'm going to adjust my settings first for my flash and I'm gonna leave it at its lowest power just to see what we're working with. And I'm gonna start off with the general settings that I have. And I always start off with one over 200, 2.8 and ISO 400. Let's see where we get. So as you can see, we've already started and it's well lit, but I think I wanna get a little bit more creative here. So we're gonna darken, up, darken it up a little bit. That's actually not bad, look at that, look how that's lit. If you wanna go for like a bright route. You know me, I like mm -hmm. I know, I know you. Hello, anyway, I think we're getting some of that light, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust that. So, in this situation, we're dealing with ambient light coming in, natural light coming in from the windows, which is what's helping us today with this video. So in my settings, I'm going to modify that so that way we get a darker exposure. We use this light here and we're gonna fill it on her right side, our left side. So now I've changed my settings to compensate for the fact that there's ambient light coming in from the inside, from the outside. And I made it darker, so now my settings are one over 200, aperture is at 5.0, ISO 80. We're gonna raise the power on my light at one over 32. And we wanna see how that looks. So it came in a little too dark, and I believe I'm gonna be moving my light so this is what we do. We play around, we work with the light to see where we are, and we go from there. So right now we're building a shot and I'm still working on it, but this is what we're getting so far. It's looking great, but I still want more. So we're gonna keep getting creative. We're gonna keep moving the light to see where the light is falling off on the backdrop and on her right side, my left. Let's see where we go with this. So I believe we reached a point where I'm really content with what we're getting so far, and I'm gonna show the model. I'm gonna show Kay here in a sec. All right, so we're gonna open up our tablet. This is the last photo I took.
So the creative part in me wants to see what this will look like if we use a reflector. So I'm gonna build that real quick. I'm just gonna add it to the scene to see what it does. If we like it, if we hate it, if we hate it, we'll get rid of it. If we like it, we'll keep shooting it. So you'll see next. All right, so we've added the reflector. It's helping just a little bit. What it's doing is it's reflecting and bouncing the light that's here. And yes, I could have just used a circular reflector, put it on a stand here or have an assistant hold it, but I wanted to fill the underside of her neck as well. So this is why I like using this reflector and we're gonna keep it for the shoe. So I'm gonna take one more test photo and I'm gonna show her on the tablet. All right. So now this is where we start shooting and the creativity comes in. So you're going to see me shoot some close-ups, some wide shots, some far away shots, some side shots, side profiles. We'll see where the creativity takes me. The settings for the photo that you just saw on your screen are 1 over 320, 2.8 and ISO 50. The power of my light is 1 over 8. All right. So here we go. Straight on first. Okay. So basically it is her eyes were closed right here and I said open up your eyes and then we went into this shot right here. And I kind of wanted her to look away so we went with that shot. So I'm shooting with a shallow depth of field so that way we can get the bokeh like in this photo here. It's kind of like in focus in this area here but then all of this stuff back here kind of gets blurred out a little bit and that's on purpose. I do that on purpose. I like to move my camera around and I like to shoot in different aspects or different angles to give us some negative space, bring it to the frame a little bit, kind of like blur everything out and just keep this here. Even though this is the side that's dark and this is the side that is lit, my, my brain just takes me here and, and I really like this kind of shot. Or even a detail shot like that where you have the lips. And there goes the straight on shot right there. <laughs> and then, <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so we're gonna do some side shots and we're, and we're gonna add some accent flowers, hands, hand movement, hand placement. All right, cool, let's go with that. Sweet, hold it right there, lift this hand up a little higher so it covers up whatever skin is not painted and turn a little bit more towards me. This way, this way, this way, the other way, perfect. Whoops, we lost the flower. All right, here we go, we'll do it again. All right, lift it higher, there you go, and turn more towards me. And then, perfect, that's good right there. Freeze right there. Chin up a little high for me. Chin up, chin up, chin up. Looking that way now towards the window. Hold it right there. Yes. Let's see how that looks. is I'm gonna give the tablet to Kay. Yes, this is my wife, this is my partner, my makeup artist, we're working together here, but it is still a collaborative effort. So what I'm gonna do is have her review all the images that we took to make sure that she's happy. I'm happy, I got what I need. Let's just make sure that the client is happy. Hey guys, so there you have it. You saw everything, you saw the entire process from setup to lighting, to the settings, to building the shot. You got to see Kay and her creativity and how she just works magic with the makeup and the SFX. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something today and stay tuned for what I have for you next.